They say the best way to update your wardrobe is to add accessories. But you know what? We think of mixing and matching according to color, according to style. That's not all that we should consider. A couple by an entrepreneur that has her own online accessory store called Most Wanted Accessories is joining us today to talk about fashion psychology. Emily, hello and welcome to Cover by Emily. Hi, thank you for getting well, here. What is uh, fashion psychology? I've never heard of that before. <laughs> um, basically, fashion psychology is the art of understanding one's person's um, current and future state of mind mm -hmm. based on their outfits and accessories. So you're saying that what we wear can actually affect our moods or our energy exactly. can help us really yes exactly okay why is it important to understand your own fashion psychology and how do you do that okay so for example um, it is important that you understand it because um, once you know what color that you're gonna wear it basically affects like what's gonna happen from the outside like for example um, Yes. Let's say blue, is there such a color that is better for us or anything like that? Yes. Color for success. I know that orange yes. is color of appetite, they say. Mm -hmm. um, that's why in a lot of restaurants, they line their tablecloth mm -hmm. and place mats with orange. Um, what, what, like, if we're going to uh, uh, a job interview, uh -huh. what color do we wear? Yeah, so basically you can also um, wear... Um, it depends on basically uh, this is how it works when um, your outfit should represent how you feel okay. and then your accessories represents like what you want to put out there uh, so on the job interview there's really no perfect color mm -hmm. just wear whatever you like what it what what is your mood or your current state of mind for that day, for that day and then your accessory should uh, depicts the color of success the gold the silver the chrome and the bronze uh -huh. and that is the reason why the awards medals and plaques are of that color so color of success so then if you want to be successful in life do you suggest that they wear that every day or wear no. something no like no no bronze gold no yeah. why yeah no no because uh, again it depends on your mood uh, okay. so but those are just the co color categories they're basically like five different color categories mm -hmm. so for example like the first category is the color of success like you have the gold the silver the bronze okay and then the second color is like the color of like humility okay um for like the down to earth the the peaceful kind of people right so those are like the earth colors so if you're going uh, to a mediation perhaps or yeah. you doing charity work maybe yes. then the, the humility colors yeah are? usually it's the earth colors oh, okay. you may not want to wear like uh, like a Too yellow flashy, right? and orange because those are the sociable colors ah. Okay. So it, it should like uh, be basically your outfit should be harmonious and balanced to what you put out. So what are those colors? So earth colors, brown. Yeah, brown things colors that you see from the outside, like uh -huh. uh, blue, light blue, green, olive. Those are the earth colors. And then the social colors you mentioned, orange, yellow, the bright ones. The usually? bright ones, um, the the purple ones. Those are the social happy colors. Mm -hmm. And then the the fourth um, category is the the peaceful quiet, the, okay. the color of tranquility. So if your life is too stressful, you're always running after something, exactly. too busy, you might want to wear the, the color of tranquility, uh -huh. which is the blue, mm -hmm. um, the blue, the white, and pastel colors. Okay. okay. And then the, the last of the colors is, um, is the color of the, the rebellious, the mysterious type. Uh -huh. These are the color, the dark colors, mm -hmm. black, gray, uh, midnight blue. So for people that are looking to, um, what do you call this, improve their love life, would you say in a first date, if a mysterious effect they wear Pwede. those colors? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you could wear something black mm -hmm. because you know you want to keep the mystery, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you may, uh, you may want to wear something that has pink on it mm -hmm. or like yellow, a little bit, you know, showing that he's going to have fun right. or it's going to be a fun date, like a light, exciting uh, date. Since you are in the fashion industry, um, a lot of these, are there such thing as, I know for fashion or for sadamet or such shoes, there is such a thing as trends. Mm -hmm. Is there such a thing also as trends when it comes to uh, fashion accessories? Of course, uh, yeah. Ano there trends is... ngayon? Mga cuffs, bracelets, necklace, big earrings? Yeah, you know, um, yes, those are like uh, for spring usually like yung mga bright colors mm -hmm. because of summer, you know, so that reflects the mood, you know, you, you may obviously not want to wear something like dark on like if you're gonna go on a picnic, yes. because obviously not only it's a hot color, but it just doesn't uh, quite show right on a, you know an outdoor and I love these these are summer colors mm -hmm. this is obviously the pearls 
for more formal oh, occasions. Yes. I like the blue one also that they highlighted earlier because it's it's more it's a little bit more formal, mm -hmm. but it's more like it has a, that vintage look. Yes. Uh -huh. um, and then obviously you mentioned the spring uh, accessories as well. What I like these days are the cuffs. Uh, like the leather, uh -huh, cups the leather with cups. studs mm -hmm. and different embellishments. It's so cool. You can dress it up. Uh, you can dress it down. It's just it just has a lot of character. And speaking of character and speaking of mixing and matching these together, we have models to show you. And Emily will discuss their looks when we return on the show. Don't go away. <laughs>